Hi guys, and welcome back to By Any Means Necessary. Thank you for all of your messages and a special thank you yeah, to everybody who has signed up to my channel. I feel so blessed with so much people who have signed up, so thank you so much for that. I'll go through all the messages, I'll answer as many as I can, but I will like all the messages for definitely. So, insulate Britain. <laughs> they're just like, they just pulled it out the back pocket again today, yeah, because they was up by the, um, by D uh, Dover. Yeah, and they, and they blocked up part of the A2, I believe. And um, so it's, it says it's a main route. Yeah, and obviously, like, you know, all the lorries wanted to get into get into the um, docks as well. So they so they went there and they blocked that up. And, um, you know, I think the police have arrested like 30 odd of them. But, you know, the um, the court, the court order, what the police have taken out <coughs> doesn't actually cover um, that part that, that went out. I think it only covers the M25. So obviously, so the so the the government are now probably going to start rushing to get another court order, yeah, against uh, them taking out any sort of action at Dover, you know. <laughs> so Insulate Britain, you know, they they said they, they they said they're not going away, and they haven't. They've they've stayed true to form, yeah, and they're running with it, right? Because they said they are more they they're much more scared of um climate change than they are of the, of them being put in prison. By the hard, hard, right, um, Home Secretary Pretty Patel. Can you imagine, yeah, that our Home Office, yeah, is being run by an Asian woman, right, and it's the most racist it's ever been. It's ne the Home Office, uh, yeah, even under the hostile environment, the Home Office wasn't this racist, right? But then you know, Pretty Patel, you know, because you, you do know that Pretty Patel, right, was. Um, she was uh, she was badly like uh, racially abused when she was when she was younger, innit? So then what she decided to do was to actually join in with the racists, right, and start racially abusing other Asian and black people. <laughs> you know, you know this woman, her dad, right, is a um I think he's a UKIP counselor or, or he's a would be UKIP counselor, right? You just think seriously, right? You you came here from Uganda. Right, where where her parents were thrown out by by um, Idi Amin, right, and that's the reason why she hates black people because you know she takes you know for what Idi Amin done to her, she takes it out on all black people, right? Which you know you just think to yourself, well, the woman come here as an immigrant, right, and you know by her own rules, right, you know her people would be locked up by by her own rules. You just think to yourself, you know, it's just like uh, talk about closing the closing the door behind you do you know what I mean you know just uh, the worst the worst home secretary and the most racist and she happens to be an Asian lady that's really really sad but um, <coughs> I'll tell you something yeah these um, with this Brexit now this 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 petrol um, you know shortage is no joke because I mean if you know if, if you're going out right, and you and you haven't got any uh, fuel right then obviously you have to go and like you know join one of them queues at the petrol stations if you know that's if the petrol station itself has got any fuel, right? But you know it, it's really really serious out there. It's really 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 serious. Do you know what I mean? And um, like just driving past the petrol stations alone, like it's it's taking you like forty five fifty minutes just to drive past them alone. Do you know what I mean? That's that's not even joining the queue. That's just driving past them. Do you know what I mean? So if you if you've got fuel. And you can and you can bypass petrol stations. That's the best thing you can do, because right now I'm telling you, like you know, the roads are just jammed up, completely, completely jammed up. Do you know what I mean? And everyone's scrambling about to 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 get to get the petrol that they need. Do you know what I mean? Or the diesel, right? But you see, it's 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 one thing them saying don't panic by, right? But you know, when you've got your shit to do, do you know what I mean? And you need fucking fuel to do your to do your shit. Then then what do you expect? Do you know what I mean? So this is 2021, Brexit Britain, right? And we've got, we, you know, we've got a lack of food on our shelves, right? You know, our fireworks night is going to be fucked up. I see a report today of a, of a massive field, yeah, of pumpkins, right, just going rotten in the field, right? So those pumpkins were supposed to be out for like the end of next month, innit? For, for Halloween, do you know what I mean? But right now they're just going rotten in the field. I mean, as with all the rest of the as with all the rest of the fruit and vegetables grown in this country, and all the farmers now, yeah, are saying, you know what, we're not we're not going to grow as much as as we did before, right? For twenty twenty two, right? They cut right, they cut it right down, right? So what Brexit's going to do, yeah, 
is instead of right us you know having much more British stuff on our shelves right no you know most of our most of our turkeys and that this year are going to come from probably from France Germany or wherever most of our turkeys do you know what I mean because like you know a lot of them you know the the turkey farmers over here right a lot of them haven't got to they have you know because they because they they couldn't they couldn't um get the turkeys out by I think it the, the, for Christmas they've got to get them out by um I think it's August or something like that, right? And because they never had any, you know, they, they've been pressing the government for, for the longest of time about this. But because they haven't had any answers from the government, right, they're not, a lot of them aren't going to produce. So now, well, so now Bre what Brexit's bringing us, right, is bringing us a load of food from the EU. I just think there's some type of irony or some type of poetic justice right in there. Do you know what I mean? Because, like, you know, you think to yourself, well... The whole Brexit thing you know, was supposed was supposed to be about we're British, right? And we can do we can we can stand up on our own. We can stand up on our own with no fuel, right? And no food on our shelves, and medications running short. That's how we're going. That's how we're standing up on our own, right? And you know this is the Brexit, this is the Brexit, right? That um, that we. Um, rejoiners told you was going to happen. We told you this was going to be the Brexit, right? What, what's happening now was going to be the Brexit. And, you know, the, the really I tell you what the really really sad thing is, right? Is that the politicians here yeah, who put us in this are the ones that are still there to get us out of this. Talk about scoring an own goal. Right, with the perfect glancing header. Right, these guys. Do you think these guys can seriously get us out of this? These guys have got no chance. They've got no chance. Right, every last one of them. You look round. You look right at the at the cabinet, and they're all exceptionally weak people. All of them. Right. You, I don't know if you saw our own question time last night. Right, but David Lammy. Right, just tore into Grant Shapps. Just smack, just smacked him to pieces up in there. Do you know what I mean? Just really, just rinsed him out, rinsed him proper. Do you know what I mean? Right. But I don't think yet. It's it's not really hitting home with the um with the Brexiters, right? Because because I don't you know the the Brexiters, they don't care, right? How bad it gets. They 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 really do not care how bad it gets, right? As you know, just I want Brexit, right? With their damn racist self, right? Because that's all this is about to them. Because you speak to any Brexiter, right? And, you know, after probably depends on who you are questioning them. But you know I mean, it doesn't take long, right, for you to break down and for them to say, well, immigration. Because that, because for them, that's what this whole thing has been about all the time. It's not been about anything else. It's not been about anything else. Do you know what I mean? You know, you know, they, you know, they, you know, they're, they're trying to run with well, you know, well, the the, the um, you're getting paid for more, getting paid um, better now. Well, of course you would, because now we've got a lack of staff. Right, people need to keep their businesses open. Right, but there's still a million job vacancies. Right, and you know, you see, you see, if this petrol crisis carries on for 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 a long time, right, then we're going to lose some of our petrol stations and all shit like that as well. Right, and you know already, right? You know, I know that, that, that you know that I could tell, you, I could show you where there's loads of petrol stations that used to be about when I was a, when I was a kid, and they've, and they've closed down, right? So so getting things like fuel gets harder and harder all the time anyway, right? So now, right, with this crisis here, yeah, we can end up losing a lot of shops, right, a lot of restaurants, right, pubs, right, and and petrol stations and things like that because you know if they can't if they can't trade. Right, then you know that's that ain't any good for them if they can't trade. You can't have petrol stations opening up, opening up for like you know for ten or twelve days, right? And they you know and they just got little bits of fuel here and there. That's not going to work for them at all. Do you know what I mean? And what will happen, right, is a lot of these guys will just close their businesses down, right? And the, and the people you know you know guess who's going to suffer the most out of that? Who do you think will suffer the most out of, out of all of that? Yes, us, the working classes, as per normal. Do you know what I mean? Because all those politicians, yeah, all of them, right? You know, 
you, you know, none of them need to worry about any of this shit. Because, you know, at worst ways, they just say, you know, I'll just buy an electric car tomorrow. And then just go and buy an electric car. So, you know, we haven't got that option open to us. That option's not open. Right? So, you know, remember, right, because it's you, right, your TVOs, right, you working class Tories and you Brexiters, you are the people, right, who, and you know something, yeah, that's, you know, that, that, that's just falling on, that's falling on deaf ears because you guys' head is so hard, right, that you know something, you really don't care. Right, you you don't care because I can I can tell because like you know you know one guy I listened to one guy today phone the radio, right, and trying to defend, trying to defend this 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 nonsense this Brexit, trying to defend it. Do you know what I mean? But you see, once you once you know once the percent are broken down, again it just comes down to immigration. That's it, immigration. You know, so you know where we where this country goes from here. But I, I do know right now, yeah, it's like we're back up in the 70s. Not that I remember the 70s. I would have been far too young, right? But that's where, that's where, that's where we are, back up in the 70s, right? It, it looks like we're going to be having some type of winter of discontent. That's what, that's what it looks like, right? And I'm sure that you Brexiters, right, who knew exactly what you was voting for, because that's what you that's what you said, right? You you voted so we could have pumpkins rotting in the field, right? Yeah. Brexit, the pumpkin wars. Yeah. Right? Right? You know it's just, you know the the most annoying thing, right? The most annoying thing, right, is that we told you, right? And then you had like the yellow hammer. Again, I'm saying that again. You had yellow hammer. Everybody in this country knew about that because they because you know it was all over the media at the time, right? And it was dismissed as Project Fair, right, by all of you Brexiters and the politicians. I'm sure it was it was it wasn't around that time that Michael Gove was saying like you know the the, the countries is is um we're sick of um of. experts wasn't that around that sort of time yeah he probably had like a couple of lines of like colombian marching powder and he could just say you know what Pfft, let's tell them anything they want right i don't understand yet why it is right that these politicians are lying to you you know they're lying to you but you're still right and you can see the um the effects that it's having on this country right and you're still behind these people. You're, you're still behind them, even even after they've destroyed your, you know, your, your livelihood. You know, you know, you could have lost your house, right? You lost your job, and you're still is 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 really is racism. Is is it that is it, seriously is racism? Is it that tough within your life? Right? Is really. Yeah, where does all that hate come from? That's what that's what I would like to know. Where does that hate come from? Right? You know, it's really like I mean, your life, yeah, must be really horrible. Right? You must walk around in like a permanent daze of ignorance. Do you know what I mean? And just sadness. Yeah, just like you know, just like do you know I would hate I would really hate to be a Brexiter. That can't be nice. Can't be. That can't be nice, right? People thinking you're stupid. And no, no, no. I'm sorry, sorry. We know you're stupid. People knowing you're stupid. People calling you stupid ass, racist, foolish, idiots. Right? And you're still. Well, uh, we voted for it, and um, you know we should. You should see it right through. But we've got to see it through anyway. Do you know what I mean? Because the, the 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 whole problem is now, yeah, is that no matter what, right, Boris Johnson's gonna keep on running with this. Right? That's the thing. He's gonna keep on running he's gonna keep on running with it. Keep on running with it. Do you know what I mean? Right? You know, right now, yeah. I don't know how long it's gonna be, but soon, right, they're gonna relax the visas, right, for H C V drivers 
and probably for fruit pickers, right? But whether or not those people yeah, are going to want to come back to this country, and especially as they're, they're, they're probably planning on saying, you know what, you can, you can come back for six months and then you need to fuck off. I don't think that people, they're not going to come back for that under them conditions. Do you know what I mean? They'll come back to a hostile environment. Yeah, and other, you know, one of the world's ugliest countries. They're coming back. No, they're not going to come back here. They're not going to come back here. What they're going to come back here to be racially abused for. Hmm? Then, you know I mean? Or, you know, a driver's come back here to get stuck up at fucking in Dover, right? Do you know what I mean? I mean, they're not, they're not going to come. You know, the, the, the people are avoiding, people are avoiding Great Britain. Great Britain is Plague Island. People are avoiding us. Drivers don't want to come here. Do you know what I mean? So, they, so, so even when they relax, because they're going to relax, the, they're going to relax the visas anytime soon. Anytime soon. They know what they're going to sell it to you, Brexiters. Say, yeah, well, you know what, we're, we're in control of this. They're going to sell it to you, Brexiters. Because they know, do you know what? You people are stupid enough. Right, to fall for it because that's what's going to happen you guys are going to fall for the shit right and they're going to sell it to you right as some type of brexit win right that they're relaxing they're relaxing the visas right but you know the only way people are going to come back over here is if people can come and make a life for themselves they want you know they don't want to go and stay away from their family for like for six months or a year what leave their family leave, leave their family over there and they're over yeah man come on do you know what I mean they're not going off to fucking war they're going to, they're going to work they want to you know they, a lot of these people want to start a life do you know what I mean so you know when they do that right for the for the um, for the um, ones that do decide to come over if if we're lucky enough to get any of them to come over because if it was me I'd be like you go you Britain can go fuck itself if it was me do you know what I mean? The only reason why I'm here, right, is because I'm British. I'm an Englishman. That's the reason why I'm here. Because otherwise, yeah, tch, you think I'd be in this racist environment? Come on, man. Seriously. Do you know what I mean? This, this, this is this this country. Yeah, is I believe at the moment it's the most racist country in the world. That's our title, and that's down to you, disgusting. Yeah. Tivos, right? Working class Tories, right? You people from the blue, from the red wall, right? This is down to you and your Brexiters, right? With your disgusting set of racism, right? And now, if you look, right, all of our petrol stations, some of them have run out of fuel, right? Some of them have closed down, and it's all down to you it's all down to your disgusting racism right you guys need to get a grip of yourself right salt your racist shit out right you know the alleged racist gene what you was born with right you need to get rid of that shit do what john burko done get rid of the shit okay when these people come back over right and let's hope some of them do be fucking nice to them Right? Don't 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 start with your fucking nonsense and start treating them like shit. Be fucking nice. Right? Let's turn Britain back into the greatest country in the world. Right? It's down to you it's down to you Brexiters, right? You Tivos, you working class Tories, right? You people from the Red Wall. It's down to you people to change, yeah, to stop all the fucking racist nonsense. Get on with the shit, right? Get on with the shit. Right? Stop all the racist nonsense. Right? You're fucking the country over. Anyway, guys, this is by any means necessary. I'm DMC John Ribs. It was really nice to speak to you guys. Comments below.